My name is Robin Twitchler. I sing tenor and I'm from Ireland. Nobody in my family was musical and my mother was getting very annoyed that I was just be constantly singing around the house and she put me into some classes and I just kept singing and then I took up music and it just ballooned from there. I haven't stopped doing it. If you end up doing what you love to do as a hobby for a job, no matter what you do, you're really lucky and hold on to it. But if somebody asks me, my son or I'm 17 and I want to be a singer, I tell them to go do something else, especially if they're male. They can go off, do something else, experience something else, and the singing will still be there. It's a lonely, stressful, tough job, and you have to love it. If you don't love it, pick something else. I give music as long as I possibly can to learn. It's, I would start with poetry. If it's in a foreign language, I have to translate it. Maybe I have to do it phonetically and work out exactly what it is, and then I'll practice that. Then I, might have, I may have to go and see somebody and get the pronunciations right. Then I put it into the, uh, put music. You've decided what the poet, what you think the poet intended, but now you've got to work out what the composer intended f for the poet. And you've got to reconcile those two things together. And then you practice and practice and practice. Und ein Engel so licht grüßet die Hirten und spricht, Christ, das Heil aller Frauen ist kommen, das Heil aller Frauen ist kommen. I sing lots of different composers. Do I have a passion for any one of them in particular? I think I adore Max Weger, Hans Pfitzner, but I mean they're not they're quite mainstream I suppose. Um, Darius Mio writes incredible songs. I'm interested in discovering music, sitting in a library and going through scores that I've never come across before and taking them home and finding some little gem that you could use in a program somewhere. That, the building of repertoire and the research of it, that excites me. The singing is fantastic, but I do the singing because I enjoy the singing. I enjoy the physical sensations of singing. I enjoy how it makes me feel. Your voice does change over time. Your repertoire will change. Your capabilities will change. You, you will lose abilities that you had in your 20s and 30s when you're in your 60s. It, but there is no course that can be dictated and followed by every tenor. Every voice is different. You're not going to progress from Mozart to Bellini to Donizetti to Wagner. It's just not going to be happen for everybody. It might happen for some, but not for everybody. But if you can most singers would be very happy just to sing in that one category and and work and sing there's no path for there's no set out path for anybody in in singing The performing is the extra little bit on top for me. Everything you do is aiming towards that performance. And it's incredibly exciting. You wouldn't do it 
if you didn't enjoy it. It's terrifying at times. If you walk out and sing an opera with only one line, that's more terrifying than singing the title role. If you walk out and sing Winterreise, that's more terrifying than sing the, singing an hour and a half of different composers. Different things are going to scare you more. That thrill is very exciting. It's also a, a very nerve-wracking thing to do. <laughs> <laughs>